Well, welcome to a new Harry's Garage video. And this time you don't find me in the garage, you find me at Day and White's. And my little Lancia Zagato is in there. And this is the day when we start the work I hinted at on a previous video. I put a sort of roundup of the garage, I can put a link to it there. Now, what's going to happen here? I, the, the car came down um, yesterday and they've just started the prep on it. Gordon, there's two guys here, Gordon and Mike Brothers, who sort of run this guy, well known amongst the Lancia and Alpha owners in the UK and abroad, and uh, John Day, who is a master of all things Lancia, and especially on engines. He's going to be doing the engine rebuild on this car, but we might have some more jobs done. Now, Covid is obviously um, full on lockdown at the moment but these sort of garages doing these sort of repairs are still open but it does make filming rather trickier than perhaps the one you saw me do with the Espada Lamborghini Espada last year so I'm going to be masked up I'm not having an assistant with me I'm talking to a camera on a tripod and we're going to use the tripod and I'm going to be behind the camera more um, they're masked up, it's such a shame, but the work is booked in and I want to get this done because I'm meant to be off to do this Pyrenees rally in May. Well, whether that's going to happen, who knows. But what we're going to do is the engine build. But first off, kick off, I'm going to go inside and then Gordon is going to take me round what we're going to do to the car over the next few months. I have to get a bit of a move on now because it's, it's 22 minutes past 10 and there's a very important thing happens in the UK at half past 10 and that's Ken Bruce comes on the radio and does Popmaster and it's particularly popular at Day and White and uh, we have to stop all recording at that point. Anyway, the, the idea, the, the car sort of runs great, yeah. um, but I just feel if I'm really going to start using it on rallies and things, yeah. it needed this bit of yeah. work and I can't wait to see what we're going to do. Well, um, also with the value in mind, there's a few sort of upgrades we can do to it. Did you have a go in it or not? Have yeah, no, I did. I was right. And it goes really well. And you're yeah. right. It's all sort of there all together. Yeah. Um, and you wouldn't really notice very much. It's just the fact that it's all got to that point where it sort of needs yeah. a bit of TLC, a bit of, you know, we're going to do this now. And this, you know, the oil runs under the bushes. The bushes are rubber degrade, deteriorates. Those things have got to be yeah. dealt with. Anything that's rubber really degrades. And if you're on a good rally with it, it's a lot of miles. It's under a bit of work. Those are the things that will fail. And even if right. you don't very many miles in it, they're the stuff that go wrong. Yeah. Um, so it's okay. important while we're here to be dealing with it. And I want a, two wipers rather than one. I oh, know, no, yeah, it doesn't help, does it? Yeah. Sort of aerodynamics or something. But yeah, that would be no, nice. no, no. But um, also with the, um, the electric pump upgrade, and the whole point is that you've got these four to twos at the moment. Right, fuel so electric fuel pump, yeah, they don't come, it's mechanical fuel pump yeah. as standard. Yeah. Um, but you're thinking electric fuel pump to prime the car, because it always takes well, a churn. Well, to prime the car, but also if you do do, or if you go up in the 42s um, onto the weather, then often you'll need more fuel anyway. Oh, really? So, oh, so you actually need actually, The mechanical pump can't always service what the needs are of oh, the big okay. carburettors. So if we'll do it now, it's a backup for the rally, and also we'll keep the mechanical pump in place as a, as a support. Right. Problem with electric pump. Okay. But yes, you are right, I prefer having a, a primary system um, okay. for the car, so we can run back. So just what today the main aim is to extract the engine. Exactly. Engine's and, coming out. and you don't have to take the gearbox out with it, nope. so it all comes out as a yep. little engine. There's you no don't. need, some no. are alright, there's no need to do any of that. You right. split it from the from the gearbox. Brilliant. Comes out the top. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay. And how long is that gonna take? Well, you should have it out about another pair of hours. Fair enough, take an engine out. Oh, I like that. No, well, a big couple more, nice. Yeah, we'll get it rebuilt this afternoon, don't <laughs> we? Eh? Sorry? The red button there. Oh. It's twisted to the right. Oh. I ought to just say it's 28 minutes past 10. Um, so we're getting pretty close to where we're hand down tools, aren't we? Kevin Bruce won't stop for us. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. there's, there's right. that. Yeah, CV that's boot, good. obviously, you can see split. Yeah, you see the, um, the grease. The oil going onto the mounts themselves. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're oh, saying that is a bit tired, tired that mount. And of course, that movement won't yeah, help. Right. You don't necessarily notice it in time. Yeah. When, is when you tighten everything up, so you feel it. I mean, yeah. to be fair, the shock absorbers yes. are leaking oil. So oh dear. again, it's that sort of point where everything's getting to that sort of. It's done. Well, we think about 105 yeah. 
thousand yeah, miles. It's, it's, it just it? shows testimony to how well they are actually put together because it does yeah. drive well. Yeah. Great I always think it's because it's a light car that yes. helps as well, doesn't and it? If you come back here, you've got the leaf springs, obviously. We're gonna. Yeah, they're pretty ugly, aren't they? Really. Absolutely. Yeah. And we'll let them off. Get the roof. Yeah, there's new shocks they say on there. On in, I've got yeah, again, I'm not totally convinced, but we'll have a look. Right. Um, no, we get them re-tempered anyway. Have them right. off. Yeah, they'll yeah. come back. Okay. We're happy with the heights, which is good. Yeah. Um, done it too low, especially with a bit of ground clearance um, on the rally itself. A little bit of welding needs to be done, but the soft frame sound. Okay. Yeah, I don't like the way he's poking with that thing. The oh, big yeah. hole is at the back, isn't there? There was one here. Yeah. This is this is. I put a little bit of tape to seal it because I just didn't want it filling out of water. Well, uh, and also, I mean, you see it's flexing. Yeah. The, um, that's, to be that's honest, we're going to put a, probably a hook here as well, for you, just in case you oh, do have okay. the awful situation if you go. You need to be towed out. Oh, yes. Oh, don't look at that. That's lads here of old. Look at that. How horrid. Oh, it's exposed. <laughs> It's not it's exactly finally out. It's not exactly Concord, is it? No. Uh, the music has started. Top master's on. Top master is now on. Right. Well, we're going to. You'll join us back in a few minutes' time. You too. <laughs> You've got more right than she has, haven't you? I think. I think yeah. So that's just sitting on the on the clutch, I suppose, isn't it? That's yeah, well, yeah that's just holding that in. Yeah, sitting on the mounts down there as well. Done a few of these. That's um, yeah, ten past eleven. We're, we're pop master interval in, in between. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad, is it? Oh, that's all right. But there's a few still of it, you know. See, yeah. I mean, to be honest, Brian, when we lift them out, so it's just. Yeah, oh, right. Oh, so you just yeah, don't need an engine hoist. Well, we no. go and fetch Brian. <laughs> what we used to do in the seventies was uh, put them in without the head on. Um, and just uh, the shelf and those shelves, just, just lean in and just pull them out. And with Brian the other way, you've seen the size of him. Yeah. Because he gives down Brian, he went, get out of the way. Yeah. And just <laughs> lift it out on his own. Yeah, it's definitely original colour because it's underneath the actual plate itself. You on it? There we go. That's it, but hold it mate. Right. Well, that is interesting. That's that is the orange there. Well, well fantastic. Well, in my mind's eye, if I was asked before this car arrived, what car do you see outside your parents' house in 1972 symmetry? It was orange. Yeah, that's it. So there we that's are. It. That's, exactly that's it. it. But it was red on the probably. So, uh, so well, it definitely was. Well, I've never fessed yeah. that. I just worried that it ruined a great story. No, no, no. But it was, it yeah. was orange, the yeah. one I saw. Bloody hell. Well, then we're definitely doing the colour change. Well, that's what I mean, exactly. Back, this is why, if you're going to do it, then. Yeah. It'd be nice to have that all as it should be. You know, especially if you have oh, a bonnet thing. Oh, yeah, we have to talk when we <laughs> do do that. I'm sorry, there's always something yeah. that comes along with that, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I just don't know what we're going to be doing in May. I just can't decide what... Well, that'll dictate. I mean, to be honest, like you see yourself, it's not difficult to sort no. of take an engine no. and do stuff. So... No. So what you're going to do, you're going to wiggle it forward, I guess, to yep. get it off the yep. bell housing. Yeah, just um, that step away. Thankfully, you've got more space than your spider. Okay, ready? That's it. So now that theories on this engine, V4, being so tight, I presume it's packaging to get it as tight as they can, to make it so they don't get the overhang. That's right. I'm guessing. Yeah. Small, was compact, one head. Because no one else did it, did they? Yeah. I mean, VW sort of did, well, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they copied it. Yeah. yeah. We Ford's tried to do it, but of course we've got two separate heads. And then so the it doesn't work well. The W engine, same yeah. thing, like two of these together, isn't it? It is. Do you describe it? It's a 20 when they started doing it. Do you describe it as a twin cam? It's a twin cam. Yeah. 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 One can does the inlet, one can does the exhaust. Oh, so it is the same, right. With the, there goes my engine. Right, so engine is flatted and it's half past 11. Hasn't got a flat sump on it either, is it? Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, it, oh, it yeah, just looks a different an angle. Yeah, because engine, engine lays out at 45 degrees, so it's just... Uh, oh. 
on, there has a yellow cover that denotes 1600 isn't it yeah and, and then there's a blue stripe it's as well only, isn't only it? on the series one hf yeah. on the hf so they didn't make many of them the fan only wasn't it only on the series one the yeah and they did the um the bigger headlights the blue and the yellow was the only one that had it people have used it since because it looks good but that right. was the only oh so it's pretty rare time it was used this is about 115 18 i can't yeah. somewhere around there is it 100, 112 it, is it Ale allegedly right okay but the the fanboy the the high power is 130 yeah. is it yeah. allegedly well this is italian horsepower which is slightly different to everybody else's horsepower i think with the very 1016 with different cams but again italian horsepower the horses aren't particularly big are they no no <laughs> That is a tiny flywheel, isn't it? I mean, it looks but tiny. It's, it, but it's quite, like you said, you know, it's quite a unique little setup. I think they did do it from the 20s, but it's a great package. It works yeah. really well, you know, power that comes out of it, power up. But back in the sort of, you know, early 70s, when you're pushing 115 horsepower, you know, yeah. Mark 1 gold, <coughs> 112. Really? You know, it's quite. Yeah, from 1600. Exactly. Yeah. In the 1300s, it's it just handles so well. Yeah. It looks so light as a flywheel. Oh, but see, you can lighten a bit, you have to be very careful. Because mm. this is a two piece flywheel. Uh, that bit there is the insert. Right. Uh, and if you lighten it too much, the two mm. bits fall apart. Right. Because there isn't enough meat holding it in, I yeah. suppose. Oh, that's dry. <coughs> it is leaking. Is it? A little bit. I think it's been a little bit. If you look at the gun housing, there's a little bit of signs. Is that where it is? But it's not. Right. Yeah. I've seen a lot worse. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> but there is and if, you, a if you look at the bell housing, you see where it's been carrying. Yeah, there's nothing on the head gasket as well, actually. Good. Excellent. Yeah, often you can see them running down. You're flying. And there it all is. Yeah. Few flex chain. Yep. Not too much crud in there. Bit, but. God, isn't that funny? The little rubber, yeah. Caskets over this plug. Light caps. Precision engineering. Yeah, funny the little pins that where you do the valve adjustment. It's onto the it's not onto the top of the valve, it's onto a funny little pin, isn't it? Yeah, it's not a lot. If you sort of think hacking the handle. Just saying how fine the actual pin points yeah, the are. Actual pin, yeah, rather than onto the top of the valve, it's yeah. A little but again, it's just, it, it, you know the engineering side of it works really well, light and caps. The engineering that sort of once you've d looked at lamps here, it sucks you in. It's what I found yeah. with it. it. It's unique, and if you like engines, there's just the way they've covered some of the issues, and it's just quality. Yeah, it's thorough. Right it's through. And unlike French engineering, it's it's just so logical that the way everything goes together. Yeah, these French cars just. Just a joke, isn't it? Well, again, they were the same price as the type that came out, it made what, sense. What the full deal was? Yeah, yeah, is yeah, it that yeah. sort of money? If you consider, I think the luxury rope was about £1,500 and they were about three and a half thousand, something like that. What, this full deal? Yeah, Compared were, to a well, the E-type was similar. Good lord. Because that, the land was quite expensive, I know. what Because it, the thing they hit with the, was the kit built, wasn't it? The fact that you could buy new land. Part built. It was a tax concession, wasn't it? You yeah. Could buy one. So you could afford it. Yeah. Didn't do kit built E types, strangely. There's <laughs> uh, oh. the cam timing gone. <laughs> yeah. Are they vernier? Are they actually yeah, adjustable? If you come around here, yeah, you can see the, yeah. Um, yeah, the vernier, vernier oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's lovely, yeah. Standard issue. Standard issue, there we are, cam exposed. Oh, what's happening there? Why is that? It's got a brass bearing that end, is it? What's yep, what's it's that? a brass bearing that end, yeah. When you put it in, you have to make sure that locates oh, into that. Oh, the there. Which a lot of people don't. Yeah, you've got to make sure it's They're bolting it down and yeah. just can't work it out. And they leave the cap loose so they can turn the camshaft. Yeah, we send them off to Pink Cannon to normally between you and me and get them checked. Right. In fact, haven't you got the rights to a, a, a cam profile? Yeah, really can. Yeah. You've got a rights to a cam profile, <laughs> a secret recipe cam profile. <laughs> but for Fulvias or for. Fulvias, yeah. Yeah, whoa. Uh, <laughs> there was such a thing. 
Yeah. It's the way it sang to the rev lines. Yeah. What was unique with this thing, you know, it didn't. Well, that was the other thing. Is when forwards had their V4 and their, their separate heads, they couldn't get them to rev as high. Right. You know, this actually will pull to sort of six thousand, doesn't it? Yeah. No. Yeah. What's the head going to be like to come off? No. no. It's a mallet. Hold it. Hold it. Get the sledge out. Oh, it's a knowing tap, isn't it? <laughs> I've done it. Oh, look at that. Got it. See top. Yeah, see it. Okay. Not just. Nice. Here we are. All is revealed. How does it look? God, I've got big valves. There has been polish in there, yeah. Oh, doesn't it? Yeah, so there has been polish. Right. But can't build up. No. You just see this strange sort of wedge shape here isn't there on you can see it on the board that it doesn't come up the piston isn't well we'll see it won't we because the pistons aren't sort of parallel to the top of the piston i know what i'm sort of saying but you just see the different coloration in the cylinder yeah which will come more obvious when the pistons are out last bit fully coming off you think that'll just come that's out about a knock yeah that that just no way. <laughs> no way absolutely be absolutely beautiful Good lord. Yeah, beautiful. No, it's nice, isn't it? That must be a pleasure to work with sometimes, because yeah. engines aren't, don't normally do that, do they? No, they are, look. <laughs> yeah, I just can't get over the angles when we look at the sump and just well, that's, peculiar. That's, that's, There's all sorts of angles going on, because it's, it's that isn't yeah. parallel to the bench, is it? That, that, that way. This says it sits in the car like that. Yeah. You can imagine doing the technical drawing on it, it gave someone oh, a proper I mean, headache, it it's just drive you nuts. You know, to design it and then actually build it and then the yeah. whole feel. So we are ready for the sump to come off, are we? Is yes. it going to take one, just one tap, do you reckon, John? Just, um, just yeah, Where, where's the, the tap? Oh, 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 that sounded about right. Yeah, sound. it's going. Oh, I think we're... Yeah. I think we have. Let's tip it up that way. Oh, oh, oh I like that. There's nothing stuck in there. That's all yeah, that. that. good. Yeah, all the numbers. Nice. Right, yeah. Here we go. Let's have a look what this bearing looks like. It's not particularly clever, is it? That got a groove in it. Is that actually it, it is, scored? Yeah, it's scored. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, that is scored. <laughs> Damn. Standard. That's too standard. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so right. They are standard. standard. Shelves. So at least we've got that. Like that. Yeah, good. Yeah, that, would have, that would have had no compression at all. That. Really, that is that loose. Yeah, you think that? Yeah. Oh, that's what we were like. Up that power yeah. thing was just. I just think there's no. There's nothing there, is there? Those piston there, rings aren't doing a lot, are no. they? But again, it's like the compression blow the whatever there is there, blow the oil back oh. out. Yeah. Look, you're not going to mistake those for anything else, are you? There's a full gear piston. Very cool. Very. It almost looks like a steel crank rather than a cast crank, but it's not, is it? It's a. No, it's it's yeah, but they're, um, it's about three thousand pounds for a crank shot. Is it? Is it a steel crank rather than a cast? Yeah. yeah. Well, well. So that's the oil pump drive just coming off there, isn't it? Yeah. Not the crank. Oh, sorry. It's, do you see that? What's that? Uh, oh. See this? See that? Yeah, that. Okay. That's nice, isn't it's it? It's a beautiful machine. Really nice. Just love the engineering. So just the three bearings on this crank then. Yep. The, the middle one takes all the, Most a lot of the load. Yeah. And it, um, so it's a big indicator of how worn this engine is. It's going and the brass back in there. Gosh, that is time for a rebuild there, isn't it? Yeah. Good. That's just what the crank's like, isn't it? Yeah. Feels pretty good. Right. 
But you're saying that smallest berry is weird, isn't it? Because it's in yeah. the middle, so it should have the, the biggest area. Really. Exactly, yeah. And there are those. That's quite warm, that, isn't it? Yeah. And you start yeah. seeing the copper coming through. Well, it's sort of reassuring that we're doing the rebuild. Oh, yeah. You know yeah, what? Gives it more it. reason to do it. Yeah, yeah at least now it's nothing too badly damaged. It's no. Just, uh, it's caught early. Pretty thing. There's a fascination of doing that, isn't there? There's just a just the ease of motion, the lack of stiction. It's just lovely. And it doesn't join it here. And the piston doesn't come down that far. No, it doesn't come down that far. That's so odd. How that looks. That's the shell. Oh. Yeah. That's the thrust bearing. The thrust bearing's on there, yeah. You're okay. That's worn, but not as bad yeah, as the middle one. Yeah, this one was fine. It's still the middle one. Well, it always tries to problem. That got, one's... Uh, just the same again. That's okay, yeah. Well, yeah you know, it's right, so we've got the inlet manifold off. This is a fun yeah, one. It's been quite nicely ported. But so then they left the gasket covering half the. That's ridiculous, port. isn't it? There's no point. There you no. are. You can just see it there. Look at this flappy bit of gasket. Yeah. So the hole, the port is much bigger than the gasket. Exactly. So it's utterly pointless. Pointless. Yeah. You just cut it around. Well, those have been cut, haven't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Not quite back it. But that one. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Right. It's just an exhaust valve then. So I suppose that. That, because it's canted over as well, that top of that guard is always in oil. Look at that amount of movement. That's my smoky engine, isn't it? A lot of my smoky engine is there. Uh, ah, looking at what we've discovered then. Pistons warm. Pistons warm, 83.4 mil pistons. So you're pushing it as far as, you, well, pretty much the limit of what you can go with them. So um, that's, that's two up, isn't it? Because that's right. 84, 80.4.2. 83 to 82, 80.2, 82.4. Well, uh, normally got 23.6. Um, not a lot of compression was felt. Pistons going up and down in the bores, which was to be expected. Yeah. But nothing really, really bad. No. Um, but we could have the pistons made though, can't yes, we? Yes, so yeah. We've made pistons made and we can go forged for not a lot more money. Um, so there's a little, you know, a lot we could play with and that's not a problem. The shells were standard, which are good. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder, so we don't know, we have to have, you're going to have that measured up, I'm guessing, the crank. Yeah, we measured the crank, obviously I looked at it, but again, not a lot of really, really bad wear. Um, sent the shell. Yeah, you know, see, I was, I, yeah, I was looking at that. I mean, when, once you start seeing the pink, you know you, you're on You're pretty much to the time, limit. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's done its job, so it's sort of a pretty good yeah. life. Uh, someone else we popped up as well. This though. bit I don't like. Yeah, I have to say that's the only bit we've really found that's a bit. Yeah, dumped, oil pump. It? There's signs of something's obviously failed that. Yeah, um, which it's is eaten, normally it's eaten something, isn't it? Down to the um, yeah. the oil feed little spout. Unfortunately, yeah. often they get broken off, and on this one you can see where it's been welded. That's so, um, so it's been blocked off completely. So yeah. it really looks like that's dropped in, failed part of the gear, um, and caused a bit of damage, and just been just been left. Um, Rest of it is looking up to, as I said, sound again, bores themselves, light scoring. Yeah. We would get it sent away for a rebore, obviously, to match what size we can go for with the pistons. Um, yeah. So we'll see how that and is. Then the, and and again, with the all being sort of chucked out, the valve guides themselves. They were knackered, weren't yeah. they? Those valve <laughs> guides were proper knackered. Um, typical wear carbon and stuff that build up the valves themselves. Yeah. Um, but no, really, it's just the guide side of it. Um, and again, it looks like it's had a bit of polishing work beforehand. Yeah. It just, it's just the worn engine, really. Yeah. Um, this is all right. Yeah. Um, and I can sort of see why, I've looked at rebuilds on the four wheel before, thought, God, that's quite a lot of money, but I had no idea. That is a very expensive component. Mm. That's a race car component, really, isn't it? Mm. A steel crank like that. Mm. I Definitely. had no idea. And that's all four wheels, how mm. steel crank even the 1300s and stuff. And the sort of lead in time, how long are we going to be waiting? For the only thing, most of the stuff, and I know this whole EU thing has kicked in, but actually the Artelian connection stuff, we get stuff in two or three days, it's really, really good, really on the ball. Only thing for the ports, pistons stuff, that could take a little bit longer. Um, as long as there's no lockdown in Italy, that's yeah. the only thing that can delay things. There's a lockdown in the machine and they can't yeah. work. And that's what we had at the beginning of the year. 
Hopefully it's not as bad at the moment, but we'll see. We're all suffering a little bit. Um, again, with the block that gets sent away, it takes a little bit longer because not everyone can do it. Because that weird but, wedge on top of the piston. Exactly, they've got to, exactly. It's how the actual um, the V works, the degrees, and so yeah. that can't be just put on a flat bench. So again, that might take two to three weeks to come back. Um, but the rest of it's not that bad. It just really no. depends on the pistons, the bore, we go from there. Um, so I might be back in a two, two months time, where yeah. are we, I suppose, aren't we? So yeah. Feb, March, end yeah. of March, the end yeah. of April, we'll, we'll have some yeah, tiny stuff. bits to have a look at. Yeah, the only good thing is we can get ahead of the rest of the world. Yeah. Done the, um, rest of the engine bay in black, I think that will really set off the engine right, beautifully. But, exactly, but not this textured black that's just been thrown on. We'll smooth all this off so it goes a nice satin black. It'll be set up against the engine, and no matter yeah. what you do with the next colour, wherever you go with it, is manageable because even yeah. if you could put these into the colour of the car, just the top doesn't affect by the engine being there. No. As long as the rest of it is nice and tidy and clean, yeah. set in black, that would look lovely against the backdrop of the engine when yeah. it goes back. Well, I can't wait. You gave me the car for us, and I took the car to park and have a look what's back over with them. Um, but again, like we did with the Asparta, is that you know, we'll clean all their maps and that all that goes yeah. right, the manifold. Oh, it makes right. such a difference. It yeah. just gives you a joy every time you yeah. open the bonnet. That's yeah. what yeah, I want with this. Like, it's like, there's a value to it. So, you, you've ordered some parts already, haven't you? We've just got oh. the mainstay stuff, which you normally have keeping stock, chains, the, the gasket sets and stuff. It's just really around the pistons and the bore, seeing where we go with that, what happens next. Right. Well, it's been brilliant to watch the engine strip happen real time. Yeah. And not find anything too scary. I think yeah. the only one is that nozzle and that damaged yeah. coil. And that's we'll get, I mean, the because we are looking at, if we do do the Pyrenees Rally and a bit more power, we're looking at the cams. We'll yeah. get the cams sent away and checked. That's great. Well, there you go. I'm going to turn the camera around. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's slightly compromised with the COVID and the mask wearing and all the rest of it, but um, great to see inside this engine and just see it being stripped down by people who have done it an awful lot of times before. So if you have enjoyed this video, well, keep watching, keep subscribing. More videos coming along very soon.